What's up, guys? Welcome to the Being Beautifully Honest podcast and channel. Thanks for being here, for being subscribed. If you're not, hit that button. And if you're listening on YouTube, hit that like button. It's like walking in the room and hitting that light switch. Let's brighten up the place and get into this reality chat. This one, I was trying to decide whether I was going to talk about it, but I want to just share my thoughts quickly, as brief as possible when it comes to Stormy, Melody, and Stormy's mom, because... I can say I'm one of those people that in the very beginning of her being on the show, I didn't care for her because I felt like she was just doing way too much. Um, And when I say her being on the show, I mean as an actual cast member, because when Melody did the video for her song, her first song, she actually shot it at Stormy's estate. And we saw her briefly, I think at the time she was pregnant, so... But, you know, a lot of people didn't even really know who she was. And she said, you know, you know, my friend Stormy. So, you know, I didn't I didn't really think two thoughts about it. It's just like, oh, you know, this is someone that's a friend of hers that lives in Huntsville. She has this amazing place that uh, Melody is doing this video shoot at. Cool. Sounds good. And then we saw her on the season. What was it? What, last season? And again, I get confused with the way these things are labeled because you have first half, second half, part A, part B. The the numbers are all mixed up. So I don't even really know. But the first season of her being an actual cast member, we saw her at Melody's uh, holiday sleepover that Melody had at her house. And I didn't really care for Stormy because I just felt like she was just doing way too much. And then when we saw her at the Galentine's Day shindig that I think it was Kimmy who was throwing it. And we saw her and Destiny going back and forth. And even though at the time Destiny was not really seen as favored, I didn't care for Stormy at that time because I just really felt like she was doing too much. And then I started to gain a little bit of respect for her because I'm like, oh, well, look at her. She's showing up at Destiny's event. She is trying to extend an olive branch or a (laughs) Gucci bag, (laughs) if you will, with Destiny. And I didn't really care for, I I felt like Destiny's attitude was off-putting with that because I'm like, oh, this woman, she's showing up. She's showing, you know, what it is to be like an actual woman about your business and letting bygones be bygones and moving forward and trying to be the bigger person. And I, I respected that. And then when I saw Stormy at, um, Charay's chateau in the picture where they were celebrating New Year's Eve, I believe it was, and Stormy was there with her husband and there, you know, with Martel and Sheree in their business situation at the time. I just was looking at it funny because I was like, well, I thought Stormy and Melody were friends. And I even discussed that a little bit, but you know, it, it is what it is. So, you know, after that, I guess the relationship kind of fizzled and they were just being cordial and not really friends, whatever. I ain't in it. I'm not involved. It has nothing to do with me. So I really don't care that much. I'm not invested in that way, right? I just view it from the perspective of being a viewer of the show and not really following too much of what goes on outside of what is aired on the show. And sometimes just a little bit of what I'm being shared to me on social media, but not that I'm consistently following these people to see what they have going on because I got too much going on to be invested in that way. But if there's something cropping up and I want to discuss it, and if I have the time, I'll do that. But I say all of that to say this little scene with Melody, Stormy, and Stormy's mom, it was uncomfortable for me to watch it because listen, to see this woman, Stormy's mom, yelling the way that she did, I just was like, this is uncomfortable. And you really have to be careful about doing things and saying things and your feelings and your emotions, because I've said this often, and I will continue to say it because I believe it. Your feelings will fool you and make a fool out of you if you allow it and you operate in your feelings. 
And I feel that Stormy's mom was operating in her feelings from maybe a, a space of being a protective mom. I, you know, somewhat understand that and not wanting to see your daughter's business suffer because people are trying to convince retailers to remove her daughter's products from shelves. And I don't agree with that either. People have the right to feel however they want to feel. But when it comes to affecting someone's business and bottom line, unless they are like R. Kelly or um, Diddy or, you know, people like that who've truly, genuinely and proven hurt people in egregious ways like that. Harvey Weinstein, Jeffrey Epstein. I'm just saying... (laughs) And I'm not saying it has to be to that level, but these are people that like have really, really hurt people, right? And just using them as examples. Stormy and Melody's friendship crumbling and whether Stormy was fake to Melody or people feel like Melody was fake to Stormy or whatever. I don't think that any of these two women's businesses should be affected because of their personal situations and some people feeling like Stormy had possibly been in Melody's house, recorded a conversation and shared it. Because if you remember when Destiny was on the show, the last season that she was on the show, she shared this video, not video, audio recording of Melody to Hotel. And a lot of people felt like Stormy was the one that had recorded that and shared it with Destiny and Destiny shared it with Hotel. I don't know. But I didn't think that she did that. I really didn't. I just didn't feel that that was something that happened. But I I do know that these shows have a good way of editing things to make it seem like that is actually what happened. So I just don't really believe that she did that. But Stormy's mom felt some type of way about that situation and feeling like Melody left Stormy as collateral damage because a lot of followers were thinking that Stormy did that and they were trying to destroy her business. Let's just go ahead and play this clip. We saw you have a conversation with your daughter Stormy about your disdain for Melody. What is it about Melody that made you feel she wasn't a good friend to Stormy? When they pop up, on these different groups and everything, you are in those groups. And you can come back and say, this is not what happened. And never got that. Never. You've been a fan of Love and Marriage Huntsville since season one. I've been watching the show ever since. Okay. Well, thank you for your ratings. I love it. Okay. (laughs) So since season one, you've been a part of this Love and Marriage Huntsville fan page. And in these fan pages, they took Melody's tweet. tweet said Uh someone that was in her home recorded her. Okay. And from the show, the person that was in her home at that time was Stormy. I have been made aware that someone had been recording me, and my point was, this is why I don't allow people in my home, because you never know. There was more than you in my home, let's be clear. You were live tweeting, though, so when you're live tweeting and you're watching this sequence of events with the show, it does appear as though you were insinuating that it was me who gave that recording to them. It may appear that way. You know what I'm saying? I feel, you know, I feel. And it may have, but then I come back even then and still say I'm not talking about the person that's in my home right right then. You really, you didn't do that until my mama had her blow up about but it on social media. But why did she even have that blow up instead of you hitting me up? Hey, Mel, girl, they coming Mel, for me. Can you correct I didn't have your number. I wasn't in contact with you. You are in those groups. And you can come back and say, this is not what happened. And never got that. Never. It's just let it ride, you know? And it's, it's not fair. It's unfair to Stormy. You felt that Melody should have publicly defended Stormy and said, no, that's not her. Is that is that right? Yes. If you... If I put something out there that was misinterpreted and I didn't want anybody to take it a certain kind of way, I would clear it up. You don't have to do anything to clear stuff up about fans. Fans going to talk and they're going to say stuff. We know this. Mm-hmm. But they were directly under your post, literally going in on me as though I'm some vile person who came into your home and I know you saw it. These people were calling Carlos, trying to get my products 
taking off the shelf. I and I worked that. hard. You from the one, from my one so, tweet? Yes. From yes. my one tweet? Yes, I did not like, know why, that. You can say you didn't, but I know you did. How why do you not? know what I know? You saw it. How you do see you everything know? Else, man. You no, see I don't everything see everything. And it's I don't okay. See everything. So it's okay. you made a tweet and you didn't bother to go back and read any of the comments on your tweets? Miss Betty, honestly, you have enough going on with your own family, with your sister and family. Man, you I just saw work about that. But get out of this one. You That's what I'm saying. Get, get out of this one. Three years ago, I'm trying to be respectful. Man, but your but I'm, not, I'm not here for you Ma, at all. Man, your business. Mama, but you ain't here. You know what? I don't want them to have a problem with you. You said you're too old for me to have a problem with you. You're older than me. Mother, you don't know me. You still Sorry. argue with a man you've been divorced for for three years. No, 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 no. Please stop. No, no, no. Because no. I heard it. Say I something. did not. Please repeat it. No. I don't. Please no. repeat it. She's a demon. <laughs> Oof. That was a bit much. Listen. I can only imagine that it had to be uncomfortable and not that Melody hasn't been there before with someone's mom on the show of going back and forth with somebody's mom. So I'm quite sure that had to be uncomfortable, especially when I feel like she probably did not, you know, expect it. So it was kind of like out of the blue. So I do feel that Melody does have a face that she gives off that's kind of like a poker face and also, you know, not wanting to show much emotion because she's trying to keep her guard up. That's what I see when it comes to her. And I feel that she really was like, oh my God, like this this person who is someone's mom, who is the mom of someone who's also sitting on the stage right now is coming at me in this way. It's just extremely uncomfortable. Where is my protection? Because my mama ain't here going back and forth with her, right? And it was clearly uncomfortable for Melody, but I feel that Stormy's mom just doesn't like Melody for not, I wouldn't even say for real reasons, but just for a a multitude of different things that she feels are reasons for her to have a dislike for Melody. And you have the right to dislike whoever you want to like. You don't have to have a reason to not like somebody. It may not make sense, but it's your right to do so. You don't have to like everybody because for her to sit there and say, you've been arguing with the ex-husband, you've been, you know, divorced for three years and whatever. Why did she have to go there? Why, why did that have to even come up? So to hear her say that, to me, it just felt like she's just somebody that just doesn't really like Melody. It's not about, it's not really about, I should say, people who choose to go off about Stormy or, in my personal opinion, make the wrong choices to try to get her products pulled from shelves and stores because they don't like what went down between her and Stormy. I just feel that that's a line that has been crossed by some people and apparently it didn't work. And um, Stormy's mom being upset about that. I don't have an issue with her mom being upset about fans contacting retailers to try to get her daughter's products pulled and removed from their shelves. But I can't imagine having the amount of followers that Melody has and to see all of these comments because she said that she's in some fan groups. I'm not involved in any of that stuff. I'm hardly on Facebook and I'm definitely not in any fan groups about the show. So maybe there is a lot going on in there. I'm not aware of it because I'm not involved. I'm not a part of it. But to have four kids do all of the different things that she's doing from all of the different businesses that she has going on. I don't see how she could see all of these comments, but even if she did, not to compare her to Beyonce, but when you consider the beehive, right? And if they get upset about some comments that some people make about Beyonce, and then they're going off about Beyonce to these people, Beyonce is not coming out here telling people to stand stand down, stand back and stand by like Donald Trump said, right, years ago. It's just like you can't control people and it's a shame that people would go that route for the sake of somebody that they like or really like, like Melody, 
to come at these people when Melanie's not even doing that. She, she did a tweet about, see, this is why I don't allow everybody to come up in my home. And Stormy said, well, you were live tweeting and you knew that this was happening because you knew, like, you knew this was happening. And Melody said, well, did you, she said, well, did I not come out and say that I'm not talking about Stormy? I don't know what happened and when it happened when Stormy couldn't call Melody and she had her number changed or whatever, but is she not still able to contact her via social media and send her a DM or get her on one of her lives that she does and and say, hey, you know, bring me on and they can discuss it then. Not saying that she would do it, but I don't know. To me, I can I could understand how Stormy may feel that Melody was aware that this was going on and she could have maybe made some official statement or whatever, but did she owe her that? Like I said, considering the fact that she felt like Stormy and even Stormy's husband were more friends to Martel, her ex-husband, who is a dangerous, narcissistic psychopath. And she knows all of the different things that she's had going on with him in public and behind the scenes. I don't think she really trusts anybody that is around him and that is linking up with him, not just on the camera to film, but behind, you know, the scenes. So I'm not saying that she didn't say anything out of retaliation to say, well, well, good for her. You know, she wanted to link up with Martel. Well, go ahead and let the Melamitas tear it down. I'm not saying that that's what was said either, but I don't think Melody owed her that. Now, some people may say, well, she could have done a little bit more. We could all say what she could have done. But was it something that she absolutely had to do, especially when, in my personal opinion, I don't think it was just about that. But I just feel that Stormy was already feeling some different type of way, because I'm just saying if I was a friend of Melody's, there's just no way I could be hanging out with Martel. I don't care if I felt like, oh, this is my only opportunity to come to the Chateau and hang out with Sheree because you see her as goals in some way, which is crazy because Sheree is not a flex, never has been, never will be, whether being in a relationship or being a friend, because it's just questionable how she even has that house. And I personally, my opinion, personally believe that Tyrone, the felon, helped her to continue to get everything completed there because remember the basement was unfinished and then she got it finished while he was in prison and he was saying how he's going to help with this and help with that and whatever and uh, uh, not saying that this is about Sheree it's not but I just had to mention that I can understand why Melody would not see Stormy as a friend anymore but I don't think that she saw her as an enemy and now seeing how her mom was with her she's just probably like okay wow And not saying that was the first confrontation because the first one was at the little tea party when Stormy told Melody to shut up and said how she didn't like some of the things that she said. And what she said to me, not saying that she had to like what she said, but I just didn't feel that it was something to be like, well, I don't like you at all because of this. Who knows? I don't know the full story, but I'm just saying based on what I have seen play out to me I just feel very uncomfortable seeing Stormy's mom behaving in the way that she's behaving and then to mention how she's still arguing and fighting with Martel why does she have to go there you know and so I don't know, guys. It's a lot. I was considering whether I was even going to talk about this or not. But the more I sat and thought about it and watched it and then to hear, uh, what's her name? Yeah, Betty. To hear Betty bring up Martel in the conversation when I thought she was really upset about Stormy being blamed for recording her. And then people contacting retailers to try to get her daughter's products removed 
from these businesses. I thought that's what it was really about. So to go with the low blow to bring up Martel and talk about him, it just made me question it even more. I understand a mom wanting to be protective over their child, but Stormy is definitely an adult. Yes, she is always going to be her mama's baby. I get that. But Stormy definitely could have spoke to Melody about that herself. And that's not something that I believe I ever saw on the show. It was more about, will you change your phone number so I couldn't get in contact with you when we saw them just just talking about, I don't really know like where we are in our friendship and our relationship. But Stormy didn't bring up anything about that. So to have her mom doing it, it just looked weird to me. If it's your business that was affected or they were attempting to affect and you were not happy about that situation, she should have been the one to bring it up, not her mom. So again, it just is very uncomfortable to watch and to see that. So I just wanted to share my thoughts on it. Let me know yours in the comment section below, guys. Thank you so much for being here, for liking and subscribing. I'm Beth, just being beautifully honest. So until the next time, I just wanted to keep it brief, beautiful, and I'm going to say bye.